All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders, the great millstone. Who we'll still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel and Shalom, Labachoryum, Wabarakium, Shayasharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel in the Lashiwan Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And uh, this is going to be a quick hitter through the spirit of poverty. How about Shem Yashah? About Shem Kodash is going to be on Ezekiel, the 13th chapter. And the inspiration of this video came from me watching the elder bishops that was going into how the destruction is going to come to these false prophets, right? So this is the book of Ezekiel 13 and 1. It says, And the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, It says, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy. Right, see? And the word prophesy means to say before. So the Lord was like, Tell tell the false prophets that the uh, the judgment that's going to befall them before it comes. All right, so this is the same spirit that we're coming in. We go out there on the highways and hedges, and we make these videos of a prophesy. All right, we're speaking of the biblical events before they happen, before they come to pass. All right, and it says um, the prophets of Israel, the false teachers and leaders, right. The ones that they know who they are, that the ones that know the Israelites, that prophesy, and thou shalt say unto them, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, right? See, out of their own hearts, lies. All right. As a matter of fact, hold on. Before I continue on, let me bring out one precept. This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, the third chapter in the 24th verse. It says, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Now, that key word right there is many. All right. The majority of our people. OK, the two thirds, they're deceived by their own vain opinion, man. That's why you got other Israelite groups coming out saying all type of, of madness, man. You see? Saying things that are totally contrary to what the scriptures say, all right, because they're deceived by their own vain opinion. Who got that spirit of this, uh, deception on them? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai through the, the spiritual demon Satan, right? It says, and it's a vain opinion, meaning it's a worthless opinion, right? It's not going to profit nothing. It says, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment, right? An evil suspicion. Their lies, man. You see, you have overthrown their judgment. That's why they don't judge righteous judgment because they don't use the scriptures the right way. Okay? Although they read out of the Bible, you know, they claim they're breaking down the scriptures, but they're totally breaking out the scriptures the wrong way. All right? So, and they're going to be uh, destroyed for that, man, if they don't repent. So now back in Ezekiel 13 and 2, son of man, Prophesy against, right? The up those that are deceived by their own vain opinion, right? The one that's teaching lies against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, hear ye the word of the Lord. It says, which they were not going to do. It says, verse three, thus saith Yahweh Power, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit right and that word woe meaning death and destruction to the false prophets man and how do you know uh, somebody's a false prophet if they're not teaching according to what the scriptures say all right although they read out of the bible but it don't line up with the scriptures say though all right an example of that you got one body of satan saying that alexander the uh the creep was a wicked israelite man and that's total madness, okay? Because the scripture says that during the time of his reign, and after he died and his four generals came into power, and their sons, that wickedness uh, 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 exceeded and, and increased on the earth, man. All right? 
So the people began to mourn because they was the seed of the wicked. They were the sons of the wicked. But when the righteous are in authority, which is the Israelites, the beginning with the LA, the people are going to rejoice. All right. And it says uh, that follow after their own spirit and have seen nothing. Yep. So I got a quick commentary of those two, right? This is uh, Ezekiel 13 and 1. It says this warning was directed against false prophets who message were not from Yahweh Shemi Al Shah. Right. They're, 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 they're prophesying, they're, they're saying the message of Satan, man. Because the spiritual demon Satan is on them. All right. Which Yahweh Shemi Al Shah told the spiritual demon Satan to put demons on them to teach lies, right? It says, but were, but were lies intended to win popularity by saying whatever made the people happen. So that was pleasing the people instead of pleasing your whole body, Shimei al All right. Just like Saul. All right. Saul uh, 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 kept the best uh, 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 um, animals and uh, he uh, spared the king of Amalek. You see what I'm saying? You know, and the, and the prophet Samuel uh, 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 rebuked them. He was like, it, uh, to obey is better than sacrifice, man. All right. And it reads, false prophets did not care about the truth as Ezekiel did. Yeah, they don't really care about their congregation, man. They just want that money. All right. The 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 the, the prophets that uh, they're, they're preaching the scriptures out of filthy lucre. Say they're doing it for the money, which is wicked. All right. Now, of course, we take donations or uh, tithes, as we call it. You know, if you know, you know, brothers or sisters that want to help out and they want to send money, of course. But the way how they're doing it, you know, they're just like the the wicked Israelites that was uh selling in the temple, man. And Yahweh Shai had to lay hands on them. And it reads, they lured the people into a false sense of security, making Ezekiel's job much more difficult right yeah because you had one particular israelite group that said that jacob's trouble ain't coming you see that's a false sense of security all right because by them saying that they're saying that destruction of, uh, of america ain't coming because when jacob's troubles come you best believe that the downfall and destruction of this place is gonna come after it so that's a false sense of security right and it says, beware of leaders who bend the truth in their quest for popularity and power. And you see it. All right. If you got eyes to see and ear to hear, you know, you see these other groups, man, and how they're how they're how they're rolling. All right. What they're into. OK. Compared to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, who sincerely been teaching this work for 30 plus years, man, and it's still going strong. On down to younger brothers such as myself and the camp heads. All right. So, yeah, that was pretty much it to the spirit. Probably how about you know, I pray that was edifying a quick hitter. Lord's willing to next time I say Shalom.